According to astronomers, there are probably more than 170 billion galaxies in the observable universe, stretching out into space that extends away from us in all directions. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way, and it's so large it would take a laser 100,000 years to travel across it. It's filled with more than 100 billion stars, including all of the ones we can see in the night sky, which is separated by vast expanses of interstellar space. Our star is called the Sun. Within the Milky Way, the Sun is a tiny speck of light. But compared to the things around us, the Sun is huge. It could fit 1.3 million Earths inside it, and it has a mass over 300,000 times greater than that of the Earth. This great mass gives the Sun a strong gravitational pull, which holds small rocky planets, including the Earth, in close orbit. Further out are the gas giants, many times bigger than the rocky planets. These are magnificent balls of gas, surrounded by rings of dust and space debris. Five billion kilometres from the Sun is the Kuiper Belt, a collection of ice and rock left over from the formation of the solar system. And far beyond the Kuiper Belt, seven and a half trillion kilometres from the Sun, lies the Oort Cloud, which is an even greater collection of ice and dust. This begs the question, where does the solar system end? We are starting to get answers to this question, as a space probe launched in the 1970s travels further than anything has gone before. The Voyager 1 probe has moved past all of the planets in our solar system, and even past the Kuiper Belt to explore the outskirts of the solar system. The probe was equipped with a sensor to measure the solar wind, charged particles which the sun blows out into the solar system, and a magnetic sensor to measure the magnetic field that is carried by this solar wind. The pressure of the solar wind and magnetic field prevent particles from elsewhere in the galaxy, called interstellar medium, from entering the solar system. So when Voyager 1 started to detect particles coming from elsewhere in the galaxy rather than particles carried by the solar wind, it signalled that it was reaching the edge of the sun's influence. We don't know what the Voyager 1 probe will discover next. But the exciting thing is that it's sampling an area of the universe which astronomers have talked about but have never been able to sample or measure. Until now. Once the probe runs out of power in 2025, its instruments must be turned off. But it will continue to travel out into our galaxy as a silent ambassador for Earth.